Bag fuel, baby. How did he find y'all? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, we met that nigga Jay in traffic. You know niggas be like, I'm going to catch you in traffic? Yeah. We caught that nigga in traffic, son. We seen that nigga in traffic. We, that nigga couldn't go nowhere. That nigga was right next to us in the car. Yo, nigga, we, yo, what's, we gonna get, find a way to get in this motherfucking car and get in his car. <laughs> yo, Jay, what up? What up? <laughs> nigga, after fucking one mile, niggas is doing that shit. Like, yo, just come on. You know what I mean? Like, we wasn't, we, it was, no, we was fucking with Jay. Mm. But when we hollered at Jay in the traffic jam, we seen Jay at the traffic jam mm. at Jones Beach. That was life changing. It's like you meet you you, you meet your wife. <laughs> it's life changing. Yeah. Like that was a life changing moment for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck did the man upstairs put his van next to our car? And there's a million cars on the highway. He could have been t ten cars up. It was Greek fest. Yeah, it, he could have been five cars up. We would have never seen him. None of this would have never happened. So everything happened for a reason. I believe in that shit, man. So y'all met Jay in traffic going to the Greek Fest. Leaving the Greek Fest, yeah. Leaving the Greek Fest. Yeah, wow. leaving, leaving. Did y'all playing music? How, how did y'all get him to be like, yo, come and fuck with me? No, he was playing music. We was in a van, you know, coming from the shit. Niggas just smoking, whatever. He was in a van next, next to us with his brother Marv. Rest in peace, Marv was driving. So we seen a nigga with the dreads, because at that time, Jay had the dreads. Them niggas was on some dreadlock shit. They lost like soul and them niggas had every, them niggas had Jam Master J with dreads, my nigga. This was crazy. So <laughs> we see the nigga dreads in the, in the van smoking in the van, got the music loud. Be like, oh shit, yo, Jay, what up? Niggas is still driving, but they ain't really fucking with us. Yo, Jay, what up? Nigga roll down the window, all the smoke come out they shit. We like, what up? Smoke? He like, all right, cool. Now, now we in. One car, now we in Jam Master J's van, little niggas. We only like 18, 19 years old. These niggas is movie stars, Run DMC, the biggest thing in the planet. Now we in this nigga, we in this nigga van like this, with this niggas. He's sitting right there like this. What up? Passing weed. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, niggas start freestyling. It turned into a freestyle and he's smiling. He watching us do our thing and we took control of the room. We we start tap dancing on the table. This was our, it was an audition. Mm. This is it right Time now. To perform. What? All our performance, nigga. And we had we already had a record on Profile Records called I and we do it like this. Produced by this kid named B Wiz. Rest in peace to B Wiz. He was my um producer back in the days. He went to Baltimore. And I don't even know why this kid went to Baltimore because his parents had mad money. He was the only kid in the hood with a beat machine. He had an SB twelve hundred. And he was producing Onyx demos. And we made a record called Iron We Do It Like This. B Wiz went to Baltimore, and the next time I saw B Wiz, he was in a casket. This is the first person I ever saw get murdered. This was 16, 17, still like right out 17, like right out of high school type shit. Good old Baltimore. They almost took me out. So now it's like, okay, my first producer, my friend, they, they killed Leroy, they killed B Wiz. But we got the record deal. So when we had the record deal with Profile, when we told Jay, yo, we got, we already had a record deal with Profile. He like, word? I think that mm. he respected us because we already made a move with even without this nigga. Matter, matter of fact, we on the same label as the nigga. Yeah, that's profile. We was on Profile. So he was like, oh shit, y'all niggas on my label? Without him? Like we made a move with it. So he, he respected that. Like, all right, these niggas, they in it. They in it for real. Like we're professional already. You know what I'm saying? We just ain't coming no demo. We already had a record out. So he just took that record out, took the freestyle. No, he he took, basically went from there and said he, he, he went started from to there. develop y'all. Did, did he come up with the development of why, how, how y'all was wild? Because y'all was screaming on records, shouting like nobody was doing that. Was that nah, y'all nah, or was I'm that I'm going to break it down how that whole shit went. So like I said, we had a, we had a record called I, I and We Do It Like This. And I used to go down south a lot. You know what I'm saying? My family's from Alabama. And I used to come back talking like, like a country nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? So if you listen to I, we do it like this, it sound like some down south shit. We was way ahead of our time. It sound like Outkast wow. before Outkast. Okay. Listen, do the knowledge of how we was, the, the, the melodies and how we was rocking on that shit. We was listening to the Cold Crush Brothers and 
son C knew this kid named Scotty Waddy from Brooklyn. And we was, it was just some real harmonizing shit that we was doing with that record. Um, so boom, we was working at a barber shop. We was working at Neutral Barber Shop. And we was doing demos because Jay, Jay said, yo, I got the money from Def Jam. Y'all niggas go in the studio and do some demos. So we was doing demos with a new producer because B-Wiz got murdered. We was doing this kid named Fat Steve from Northern Boulevard, 107th and Northern. So we was on Northern Boulevard. We was, knew all them niggas up there going to the store. We met all them niggas up there too, like recording the demos. This is like 89, 90, something really like that, <laughs> late. So we in a barbershop, Big DS and Sun C coming to the barbershop. They like, yo, we gonna take care of something, but boom, we gonna meet y'all niggas at the studio. Them niggas never come to the studio that night. Big DS. Big DS and Sun C. But my cousin Sticky, his name was Tropical at the time, he was rapping too. I was like, yo, let's go to the studio. So me and Sticky, his name, his name wasn't Sticky at the time, his name was Tropical, this is crazy. So he had we, dreads at the time too, right? He had dreads. The whole everybody had dreads. De La Soul was the biggest shit. Y'all was wearing like the, the native big, tongue was the biggest shit. So if right. you wasn't moving with that, then which what, what, what you moving with? We mm -hmm. all in hip hop, you moving with what's moving. So everybody had dreads. If you if you was cool, Jam Master Jay had dreads. We had dreads. Now Jay Z got dressed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you move with the times, but for real. So um. So now it's like, all right, so we in the studio, me and Sticky, and Sticky was influenced a lot. I would say we were influenced a lot by Busta Rhymes and the leaders of the new school. We saw them niggas live at a performance at Powerhouse, and when we seen that performance, we was just like, oh, these niggas is ill. And I think when we went to the studio that day, I think we said, yo, we gonna be, how leaders of the new school, they was in school, yeah. we was gonna be the niggas that cut class. So we took that energy and we came up with a record called Stick and Move. Gangstar had a record called Stick Up Kids Is Out The Tax. So we did a record called Stick and Move, Stick and Move. Eight o'clock in the morning, time to wake up. Another brother getting paid in the way it's a stick up. That was the introduction of the grimy style. On that record, niggas changed their whole voice. It was nothing like the record we did for Profile. It was like me and Sticky took it to a whole nother, we was what, whole nother level. Sticky came out, this is Sticky Fingers. That's the first time he said his name was Sticky Fingers in the record. So cool. So now we got the demos I got with Big DS and Sun C, the, the old the Onyx style. And I got that one record called Sticky Move with my cousin Sticky. So we got a demo, like 10 demos. Jam Master J like, yo, you got the demos ready? I'm gonna pick you up at Burger King on Rockway Boulevard. Right, no, Burger King. Know, right there, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. I'm out there, you know what I'm saying? I, I think that's just still I, there. I used to live at Kennedy Plaza. Oh, wow. Right next right door. There? Yeah, nigga, like I was right there. I used to live right there. Nigga stole my car, looked out the window, nigga still in my car right yeah. there. I seen that shit, Kennedy Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to run out the window, <laughs> chase my car. This shit was gone. <laughs> Never forgot that shit. Nigga stole my shit. But um, so Jay was like, meet me at Burger King. So he was like, yo, let's go to Princess Black. I jump in the car. We go to Princess Black 121. He give me $100. I go get the weed. Boom, because Jay loved to smoke weed. So now we got the blue bags. We, we rolling up. Now we listening to the demos in the bins. Riding around Southside. We riding around. Playing all the demos. He liking this shit. He like this. But when the song Stick and Move come on, that nigga almost crashed the bins, my nigga. He like, yo, what the fuck is this shit? Yo, this is crazy. Because it was different. He was like, who the fuck is this Sticky Fingers nigga? I'm like, nah, his name, his name is Tropical, man. That's my cousin. Yo, you and the Sticky Fingers? He kept calling niggas Sticky Fingers and shit. <laughs> so now it's like, all right. <laughs> so now we get, a, we get a call from Jay. We have a meeting, we get a call from Jay. Sun C and Big DS, they want Sticky in the group. So now a mouth to feed, because that was the conversation. Yo, Jay won't put Sticky in the group. Nah, fuck that. Jay was like, yo, if Sticky don't be in the group, I'm not signing y'all niggas. That's how Sticky got in the group. What? Yeah. What's their hand? Just like that. If Sticky ain't in the group, I ain't signing y'all niggas. 